Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and tomorrow Manchester United are back, back playing football for the first time in three months and it's going to be against Tottenham Hotspur so they're not just back but it is a big game. So in this video I decided to do a video of five interesting things that we should look out for when Manchester United return to football in the Tottenham game and in the next few games up and coming five things we should look out for to see what Oli does. The first things first please hit that like button, subscribe down below and share this video. If you're excited for football coming back smash that like button because tomorrow I'll be uploading a five things we learned from Manchester United versus Spurs after the game. Now first things first, I haven't done a transfer video in ages but I just want to talk about one thing quickly before I get into the five things uh, to look out for and that is that Fabrizio Romano basically came out and said that Jadon Sancho is happy to join Manchester United, it's just that Manchester United need to give Dortmund a bid and agree on a price, basically saying if Manchester United give Dortmund an appropriate price and they agree to that bid that Manchester United put in for Sancho. Sancho is very likely to be a Manchester United player. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section down below. I think Manchester United will probably wait till August to sign Sancho and place a bid for him. We've not made a bid to Dortmund yet. It looks like if we do make a bid to Dortmund in which they accept, Sancho will come to Manchester United. I thought that was some very interesting news. But let's get straight into it in five things that we need to look out for. Now the first thing is, what is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's first choice midfield going to be? I think this is going to be really interesting. I don't think we will find this out until a couple of games into the season. But everyone's saying, oh, you've got to start Bruno and Pogba. And then some people are saying, oh, it should be Bruno and Pogba Matic. Some people are saying it should be Bruno, Pogba, Fred. And some people are saying it should be Bruno, Pogba, McTominay. And even some people are saying it should be McTominay, Fred, Bruno. Like, I think this is really interesting to see which midfield three Ole's going to go with. I think he's going to... Uh, experiment around the first couple of games obviously he needs to rotate for fitness and then it'll be just interesting to see what his preferred choice midfield is at the end of the season if he make it to Europa League final what would be his midfield free of choice there could be injuries which could affect this but I'm really intrigued to see like what midfield free will Oli play against um, Tottenham a lot of people are saying it's going to be Fred Matic and Bruno Fernandes and that Pogba will be on the bench as an impact sub. I guess Manchester City had Aguero on the bench so I don't think he's going to start his stronger squad straight away but I think as the season goes on, as the football progresses, it'll be really interesting to see what Oli's first choice top three midfielders are. Let me know in the comment section down below which three midfielders would you play for Manchester United? The second thing is what formation will Oli go with? I think this is really interesting because we've played Five at the back. We've mostly played the 4-2-3-1. We've also played like the 4-1-2-1-2 kind of diamond. You know, we used to play the 4-3-3. We've got Pogba Bruno. We've got a lot more numbers, bodies, apart from Axel and Jones that are injured, but they're defenders anyway. So I doubt we'll go three at the back because we only have three centre-backs um, anyway. But I think it's going to be really interesting to see what formation Oli goes with. I think he'll go with the 4-2-3-1 myself. Is that the formation he's going to go with most of the season? Again, you know, we have injury problems at centre-back. Maguire and Lindelof are the only ones that seem to stay fit. So I can't see him playing five at the back. I know we normally play five at the back against top six sides, but I think we'll play a 4-2-3-1. And I think for most of the season, we'll play a 4-2-3-1 because that's what we know. However, there's been such a long break that he could have practised something else, like a 4-3-3. So who knows? I think it's just going to be really interesting to see which formation Oli goes with for most of the remaining games. Let me know in the comment section what formation you would go with. The third thing is to see Manchester United's full strength squad for the first time. I kind of talked about this in a video I made three days ago which was called Five Things to Expect versus Spurs where I said I think we'll start to see what Oli's trying to build off. Now I think, again, I don't think he's going to play our first choice strongest squad versus Spurs because I don't think we really know who that is yet but I think as football continues, as we play lots more games we're going to sort of see what our strongest 11 is and what Oli can build from from that strongest 11, you know, Pogba, Bruno, If we is it Sancho that we need just to take that strongest 11 to the next level? Do we need another centre-back? I think the remaining games will show us what we're starting to build because I think Bruno was the final piece of the puzzle this season and I think next season just about getting two more attackers in, two more bodies in the field, maybe a defender. But I think it's just quite nice to see what direction Manchester United are going and I think the end of this season will give a kind of indication of the direction we're going in where we need to rebuild. I think we know where we need to improve but I think it will just help give us an indication of what is our stronger squad and where are the weak parts in our stronger squad and how we're going to move forward as a club. Now the fourth thing which I think is going to be really interesting to watch out for for Manchester United is 
when Manchester United have played this season, we've been really good against top six clubs because they come at us, attack us, and it plays right into our hands because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has played a very counter-attacking style of football this season. Now, is he going to continue playing that counter-attacking style of football or is he going to play a more free-flow attacking style of football, a bit more like Liverpool and Manchester City rather than sit back and counter-attack? I think it's going to be really interesting to see not just the formation he uses, but like how he plays. Is it going to still be sit back and counter? Is it going to be a bit more free flowing attacking football? Is he going to change it up now? We've got Bruno and Pogba. I think that's going to be really interesting to see. And relating to that, at some point we're going to see Pogba and Bruno play together. And when we're playing a team like Burnley or a team that sits back deep against us, is Pogba and Bruno going to be able to break down that defence. I think since Bruno's joined, we've been better at breaking down defences. But I think if we can get Pogba and Bruno in the same team, it's going to give us an indication of can we now break down teams that sit back deep against us? Have we advanced forward? Because once we can break down teams that sit back deep against us, it means we should be getting all the points against the smaller teams. And we've got all the points against the bigger teams, so we can get all the points against the smaller teams. That will massively close the gap between us, City and Liverpool. And I just think it'll be interesting to see, will we be able to break down, you know, some of the smaller teams that we're going to play? I think we still got to play Bournemouth, Southampton. They're obviously going to sit back deep against us, try and get oi. And obviously we didn't beat them first time round. So I think it's just going to be really interesting to see if we can break them down, if we can beat them this time. Have we improved from the start of the season? I think we have improved from the start of the season. But I think if we can beat Bournemouth and Southampton, because we didn't beat them earlier in the season, it will just give us an indication of, have Manchester United improved? And the fifth and final thing that we should watch out for is Martial and Rashford's scoring records. Now they have scored 35 or 36 goals between them this season. I believe Rashford has 19 Martial has 16, which is 35, and throughout most of the season they've relied on Lingard and Pereira for service with Pogba's injury, and Rashford has yet to play with Bruno Fernandes. Rashford had 19 goals pretty much off Pereira and Lingard's service. You know, most of the goals Rashford scored he created for himself, and I just think it's going to be really interesting to watch out for, like, do their goal tallies go up even better? Because it's been a pretty good goal tally for both of them, but is their goal tally going to go for the next level? Especially Rashford, considering he's been injured and he's almost on 20 goals this season. But I think with Bruno and Pogba behind them, I really am looking forward to seeing this, what Rashford does with this service. Could Rashford go for the golden boot? I mean, I don't think Rashford's going to win the golden boot because Vardy is five goals ahead of him. But, like, imagine the scenes if a Man United player wins the golden boot and everyone who went Trashford a few months ago... Like, I, I just think that would be amazing. I'm just really excited to watch out for the difference that Bruno Fernandes and Pogba will make to Marcus Rashford. He's been brilliant this season, but now he's got Bruno and Pogba behind him. Is he going to go from brilliant, sort of world-class? Bruno Fernandes, he made such a difference to Anthony Martial when he came in, and I'd like to see if he makes that same difference to Marcus Rashford. So I do think we've really got to watch out for Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial when they've got Pogba and Bruno behind them and see what kind of players they become. Because I think... Since Martial's played with Bruno Fernandes, he's looked like a top-tier Manchester United striker. I think Rashford has looked like a top-tier Manchester United winger this season. But I think it's just going to be really amazing to see Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, getting the service of Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba. If we're excited for when football returns and Bruno Fernandes, Paul Pogba, Martial and Marcus Rashford playing in the same team, then hit that like button. Thank you for watching this video. This is my five things that we should watch out for when football returns. If you have things that you think I should watch out for that I have not mentioned in this video when football returns, let me know by commenting it in the comment section down below. Like this video, share this video, thank you for watching. All my social media links are in the description because I get asked about it a lot. See you next time.